This video will discuss plagiarism. Chances are, when you have been in class, your professors have talked to you about avoiding plagiarism. Plagiarism is defined as the act of trying to pass someone else's work as your own, or when you use someone else's words or ideas and don't cite them. Well, why is everyone so concerned about plagiarism? Plagiarism is a serious offense that can have consequences, such as an academic warning or a failing grade. And plagiarism doesn't just exist in the academic world. We see stories in the news all the time. In 2016, First Lady Melania Trump was accused of plagiarizing a speech by former First Lady Michelle Obama. And that's just one of many plagiarism examples out there. Katie Couric, former Vice President Joe Biden, Jason Fry from the New York Times, historian Doris Kearns Goodwin, and author Alex Haley have all been involved in high-profile plagiarism cases. Knowing the basics of what plagiarism is and how to avoid it will benefit you both in your time at Massasoit and in your career. Plagiarism doesn't always happen on purpose, and it can take many forms. Plagiarism can entail submitting work written by someone else, using words or phrases from a source and patching them together in a new sentence, failing to acknowledge the sources of words or information, not putting quotation marks around a direct quotation, and that's not all, folks. Unintentional plagiarism includes forgetting to cite, losing a citation, unintentionally omitting a needed citation, and there's also self-plagiarism. Say you're pressed for time and you completed a similar assignment for a class last semester. This is referred to as self-plagiarism, and it is not acceptable. The good news is that plagiarism is completely avoidable. Using citations in your work can help you to prevent it. Why do citations matter? A citation is a recognition of a source. Citing and acknowledging sources distinguishes original work from borrowed work, and citations help readers to locate information and conduct further research. So what do you need to cite? You need to cite any work that is not your own. This includes text, statistics, photographs, works of art, music, graphics, and anything that is not considered to be common knowledge. Common knowledge is information that most people know. Remember that common knowledge is basic information and not specific about a topic. Examples of common knowledge include that George Washington was the first president of the United States and Texas became a state in 1845. When considering if something is common knowledge, ask yourself, can I find the information in numerous sources? Is it likely that many people know the information? Can I find the information in a general resource like a dictionary? If it's not your own idea or common knowledge, include a citation. To avoid plagiarism, be sure to cite anything that you quote, paraphrase, or summarize. Make sure that you base your writing on your own ideas. Keep track of your sources as you research, and be sure to take good notes. A general rule of thumb is, when in doubt, cite it. At Massasoit, the two most commonly used citation styles are MLA and APA. These will depend on the discipline that you're writing in, and your professor will usually have a preference for which style they would like you to use. Remember that many of our library databases have citation tools built in to aid you in this process. The Massasoit Writing Center is a great resource for you in the writing process. They can help you format, synthesize, and provide input on quoting, paraphrasing, and summarizing to help you avoid plagiarism. The library can also help you to find quality resources to use in your assignment. We are happy to help you find citation style guides and helpful resources. You can get in touch with us using our contact information. Remember that we are here to serve you as a student, and we're always happy to help.